Good morning, welcome back to Artisan Electrics where we're just finishing off the car park job. We are sticking a bit of tray down, got some nice galb spray and end caps doing a nice thorough job. It feels like it's going to rain any minute. We're kind of racing against the clock a little bit while racing against Mother Nature. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video and see you soon. Alright, so that's in. Just taking it through there for now and round. All of this is going to be cemented. So we're just mounting these pads. It's been a right beast trying to actually get them mounted on. As you can see, I've punched the floor very hard, <laughs> slipping with the spanner. So I've changed over to, to this. But these bolts, basically, you just have to hammer them in. It's just a really solid anchor fixing. So we're just going to get all those, what well, it should be, if you... Get them right, there we go. <laughs> or if you can aim a hammer. I'll tell you what, as soon as the camera goes on. Right. Um, John's just called me out. He's like, I don't think we've got enough wiggle room there to make off that arm, all these armors perfectly. You're bound to screw one of them up. Um, we should just stuffing land this side and SWA land the other side. Which I do agree, you only need to earth one side, but probably because I'm just a bit annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and OCD. If it's an SWA cable, I just want an SWA gland on it. Um, it's, it's like when you see SY cable with a stuffing land, it's like, yeah, okay, this boot's a little bit too tight. <laughs> no, it's not. This is good. This is watertight. When you see like an SY cable with a stuffing land, it's like, again, technically you're all right, but I don't like it. You've got an SY cable, use an SY gland. If you've got an SWA cable, use an SWA gland. And I'm going to prove my point by getting all of these absolutely perfect. With no mistakes on them, am I, John? Actually, I don't know if I like this Tubix cutter. I think I'm quicker with a hacksaw. On a big cable, it made sense. On this little cable, it's just a bit stupid. I'm gonna get my hacksaw out. Yeah, this is stupid. Don't know what I'm messing around for. So I'm gonna do a seriously controversial thing right now, which is definitely probably gonna get me some mega hate. But it's the truth. Kylie Minogue is not that good. I said it. No, I'm joking. That was a joke. She is a, she's a fantastic woman. I would never say something about her, especially when we've got Australian viewers. This was fantastic yesterday on the big armoured cable. On this, it's absolute poop. So I'm not fussed about using that on the smaller cable. So this is a six mil and it's, it's useless. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but I, I, I think it's just useless. This, again, for a small cable, there's no point. You're quicker with a junior hacksaw. Do you want to know my favourite SWA tool? Um, <laughs> is that and I'm gonna get hate for it I know I am but you know what it is just I, I, how many SWAs do you think we've made off with that and never had a single nick single issue loads loads there you go and, and if, you, if you start working on bigger ones you're gonna be there all year with your junior hacksaw like, you're, you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna you're not gonna see your family at, at, at the holidays you know because you're gonna still be there with your little junior hacksaw going around it or you could just get out your grinder put your big boy pants on and take a bit of abuse um <laughs> so there's two things in this world that i love kylie minogue and misusing tools i'm racing against the clock to try and get all these terminated and i totally did not just choose an angle grinder on it show you another little um trick for when you're, when you're trying to terminate an armoured cable and you've already got the accessory fixed and you want to measure it off, there's a few ways to do it. Either you can get it, get it. Either, in fact, I'll show you the way I, was, I'm, I'm, I am doing it. Cheers. I'm going to get it all lined up like that. I'm going to put a little mark on it. So I bring it through the accessory before I put the gland on it. And then I cut the armoured and that accordingly. However, let's, let's just pretend that this is dressed in on a tray and I can't, I can't get to it. So I've taped this cable tie to it. I'll use the cable tie as a guide. So I'll bend the cable out the way. I'll cut that cable tie there. And then when I lay that flat, again, I know that's where I need to cut. Does that make sense? That's a good little SWA tip if you don't have space to move. 
So I'm back, I had a crazy morning, but I managed to get back here and help the guys out for a few hours. They're doing really well. I've got a spade just to prove that the boss does do some hard work sometimes. I'm just gonna back backfill there. We've got these tile, what's called tile tape. It's like quite solid plastic. Because we're not burying them really deep, we thought what we can do is just put this tile tape over so that if anyone does start digging, they're gonna hit that. There's no way that they're gonna be able to damage the cables. They'll just hit that and they'll see that it's yellow and they'll see that there's cables underneath. I mean, we're gonna take photos and, and document everything and leave it with the client anyway, but just to be absolutely 100% safe. Hopefully it will look like we were never here. My favorite artisan said to me, you know, tile tape. And I was like, what the heck is tile tape? I thought, this is another one of Corey's weird sort of expressions, like a boot. And he's calling it something when it's actually something else. And then I Googled tile tape and I found out that it's actually a real thing. Is it gonna kill me if I use it on plastic? It's not really gonna pack down very well because so welcome to artisan landscaping. We use artisanal methods like this wooden board from 1852, carefully crafted tool. We're using it to gently tamp down the soil in a very artisan fashion. We're gonna scrape off any excess soil. We're gonna pick it out by hand because that's the eco-friendly way of doing things. You would never want to hurt the soil in any way by touching it with man-made tools. So we do everything by hand. It's gonna take about 14 days for me to do this. I'm just gonna pick one stone at a time and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Let's play a fun game of, oh my gosh, I hope I don't drill through anything important. Oh, that didn't sound good. Perfect. Oh, no, spot on. Oh, good job we didn't push. There's a pipe there, listen. So we've got the cable tray in, we've got the, uh, all of the cables zip tied up, and now we're just putting the grid back. I've fire foamed that little hole just to, with some expanding foam just to sort of separate from the elements. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that expand out. And I'm hoping if we've got enough time, I want to cut that flush back to the wall, just a little bit offset and then fill it up with mortar just so it looks a little bit nicer. The trouble is it's a spaghetti junction up here. We're still debating like whether or not tray was really an idea, but we think we kind of just concluded, you know what, their work's not great, but it doesn't mean we're going to lower our work to their standards, you know. We'll just make sure ours is nice, dressed in, trayed up. So while those two are monkeying around with some cable tray, I'm in here doing this board and we've got an SPD we managed to pick up. So this uh, surge protection device is designed to just go here. So that'll click in there and then we've got a 63 amp MCB to go in here. So that just will provide surge protection for the whole installation that we're putting in. So it means if they've got any surges on the system, it's going to just stop the zappies from being damaged, which is quite uh, important in these kind of situations. What we've got is some 16 mil, just some little 16 mil double insulated tails that we picked up. That was the best that we could do. Um, so we come out of the breaker into the SPD. It's very short, so we keep the wires as short as possible. And then another one from the neutral bar into the neutral terminal on the SPD. Then we've got single phase breakers, four of those for the chargers. So we'll go in and spread them across the different phases. And then we're going to gland the cables into the bottom here. The guys are just getting those through into this little room and then we can start terminating those. Get a crack on because we've got a big power shutdown to do. In order to connect this armoured, we're going to shut down the power to the whole building so that we can work in the main MCCB panel safely. But it's a working factory, so it takes a little bit of coordination for them to shut down the power. They very kindly said we can, which is good because, you know, we need to work safely. But I just want to crack on and get this done. So we've got permission for the shutdown now. I'm just gonna turn off all these MCCBs one by one, just to make sure that when we turn the main switch off, we're doing it with no load. And I've taken a photo of this in advance, so I know which breakers were on and which were off. Basically, they're all on, apart from this one, because that's the one that we're gonna connect to. So, power going off. Main 
and switch off. Good to go. And then. Alright, you got it on that side? Yeah. Okay. I got it. Right. Wonder bar. So, um, safe isolation. Check on the outgoing. Or here somewhere. Connecting. I bought some earlier. Yeah. Is it screw terminals or is it um, Allen yeah, keys? Screw terminals. There's a bolt there going through. So then, if we can reuse that with the banjo. It looks like they've not actually run fly leads, they've just used oh, metal okay, casing as the earth. Corey, you're going to need to reach the neutral bar, which is quite far down. So I'm I don't just literally getting the boot on for now. I don't think we're going to have enough um, cable to be honest. No, I'm not under any pressure, I'm always chill. This is the amazing thing about youth, you know, so much confidence, so little ability. It's amazing what you can get away with if you've got confidence, though. <laughs> what's, what's the benefit to your age then? Uh, lots, of, <laughs> <laughs> lots of confidence. It's that no you... confidence, no ability. <laughs> Experience, which means you can do anything and, and, and sound get good away. Ones. You can get away with being rubbish at everything because you've got experience. Oh. Are they all on the outside? Yes. Oh, are they all on the outside? What sort of question? Corey, who did you take me for? Look, I'm quality control Corey. now. That is my role. Are they all on the outside? I have to check, and I'm you've not done anything I'm stupid. Hurt and offended. My rage is untethered. Come on, line up. <laughs> line up. We're so close. Yeah, it's not. I'm glad you feel the same about this. It has to be I, done. There we go. Yeah. Even if it means breaking your wrists. Well, it's not quite there. It's close. Yeah. I'll be able to Yeah. Oh, you forgot the boot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, a tiny bit more. Amalgamating tape it is. A tiny bit more. And then you go tight. Oh, yeah, that, that'll do. Oh, that is beautiful. Chef's kiss. The artisan caress. Right, let's do this. So. Let's remove all tools from the top of the board because that's not really a safe thing to do. Ooh, I agree. Well, that'd be an awesome episode. Corey um, and Jordan wait, die of art uh, flash. Do we want to strip this back? I would put it in first. Yeah, yeah just because okay. I don't want to damage it scratching it through. Okay. Um, if, if we do a Corey and Jordan die of art flash video, maybe we, we should sure. donate the proceeds to like welfare for cows or something. So, we're all good. So, um, blanks. Uh, right, so. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. You stand back, I'll do the thing, just in case. As we've got the gear, might as well use it. And they were all off. And now we can basically turn them all back on. Well, no big bang, so that's a start. Right, let's do some tests at our new board and see what we've got. What I'm doing at the minute, I'm stuck inside this little board cupboard, which is like the story of my adult life. Cue world's smallest violin. I'm gonna bring this Armored Cat 5 in. I'm just gonna cable tie it down to there. It's getting rather late. I think, I reckon we're gonna be here. My prediction is 10 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to bring that down into there and then we connect these cores here into whisker box here. And then I've already decided which colours I'm using for what. I could really do with some of them little sticky tabs to be honest. I'll show you my tool bag, it's quite conveniently just hooked there. Oh, that swine. He's trying to swap. He's, I heard him make the comment, oh. Your level's the new one of mine. It's exactly the same, but your one's new. What's he done? He's given me his one, and he's taken a nice fresh one. I'll have him for that. Um, yeah, it's quite cool being able to just hang it there at a convenient height, so I'm not diving down on the floor for tools all this time. I feel like you need to give us something inspirational. Wise. Okay. Can lay. Nah. I've got a wise word. The only thing that creates tension is wanting things to be different to how they are. So if you accept things for how they are, 
then it removes the tension. Did your face just click when you did that? It did. The bones in my cheeks. Welcome, dear audience, to another late night edition of Artisan Electrics. <laughs> the Artisan Electrics show. Um, we're slightly losing our minds now, as, if we, as you do when it gets a bit late on a job. Um, but we're just, I'm just dressing these armors in now. We've got them tied back. We've got the cable tray in and stuff. I'm just going to terminate these in. We discovered something about this. Um, Corey's probably already mentioned it, but this is only good for big armors. I just tried to use it on the little one and it just didn't work. So that is only good for the big chunky stuff. So I'm using my traditional hacksaw method today. Um, just, yeah, just terminating these over. But um, yeah, Corey said I should give some words of wisdom. I don't feel very wise this evening. Um, but I would say that sometimes jobs take longer than you expect. It seems to happen more often than I would like uh, though with us. Generally it's these commercial jobs. And I think the reason is, you just never know what you're gonna uncover until you get started. And this is a classic example where, you know, the board was a mess and we had to rip it out and that's just meant that it's taken longer. But, you know, it's gonna be a really nice job when it's done. So I'm not fussed, the customer's happy that we're gonna be doing a great job for them. So it is what it is, but it's just that we've not scheduled the time for this. So it means we've got to work late, otherwise we won't get it done because tomorrow got loads of other work to do and the day after that and the day after that we are fully booked until June now so um, yeah it is what it is but um, we're powering on through so we'll just speed through this last little bit and then uh, we'll show you the finished result so that's all done we're all in we've got the cable coming down and in to the whisker box I just want to print off a little label for that saying CT connections although it's pretty darn obvious because you've got CTs about 30 centimeters away, so maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, going into there and out, and that's it, done. So that's all the CT's done, so now it is definitely tidy up time. And return some of, some of Jordan's this, stolen tools this, time. This looks like it's all my mess, but believe it, it or is, not. It is, you're the messy pup. It's 50-50 today, we are both mucky pups today. We're both mucky pups. When you're in the swing of it, and you just end up throwing stuff everywhere, it's after, not good. After eight Tidy o'clock. up your rooms, kids. After eight o'clock, I too become a mucky pup. It's like a werewolf. Except muckiness. But believe pockets. it or not, I'm quite enjoying doing these um, cable glands. You're only enjoying it because you're with me. If you was on your own, well, you'd be hating it. You'd be crying right now. Yeah, it's a weird thing, but I kind of like when it's late at night, when I'm working late, I kind of get in the zone, gain focus. Okie dokie, so I'm just doing some testing, but I thought it'd be a pretty cool opportunity to show you this little gadget. Come around here, Natan. So it's the Weira screwdriver. This is actually my first time using it. And I think when you push the button, it goes like four or five times faster. However, I've noticed it does not work under torque. So you hold that bit and it will just go a whole lot quicker. But when you've got any sort of torque on it, it doesn't work. So you have to kind of loosen it by hand, get rid of the main resistance. Which, by the way, if you're going to do that, makes it completely pointless. But we've got it to review, so we'll see. I'm going to give my honest opinion right now. And it is honest opinion because it's past 8 o'clock, which means you're going to get full, no holding back opinion. Right. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. No, nope, that's pretty well. Oh, no. Okay. It's a mixed bag. I like it, actually. That is pretty fast. Mm, if I'm being honest... That is pretty clever because that has opened them screws four times quicker, I reckon. However, for the money, I guess that's up to you. I don't feel like that's saving that much RSI. And also, it'd be better if I could do it one-handed, but the fact I have to use two hands, I never use two hands on a screwdriver, being ambidextrous and all. So actually, not massively impressed. My verdict is a solid three or four out of ten. It's just I would never pay 50, 60 quid for that. It's my... No, it's an all right tool. I just would never pay that much money for it, that's all. I'm not, not knocking it. If you have it, then good on you. But will I ever pay 50 quid for that? Nah, I'd rather spend that. I could buy 50 McDonald's cheeseburgers for that. That's the way I see it. 0.13, then we'll go over to here with our overpriced screwdriver. This screwdriver is possibly the worst screwdriver I've ever used in my life. No, it's not that bad. I just, yeah, look, I have to do it by hand to start it off. Oh, I'm sorry, screwdriver. Do you need any more help? Do you want me to make your packed lunch for you as well, for goodness sake? I'm not impressed. It's like, you need me to start off the screw for you. You are literally the screwdriver. That is your job. And if I'm going to pay 50 quid for what I could buy for £2 in Maplin, 
then seriously, you need to impress me more than this. Weira, I love your tools, okay? I love Weira tools. Weira and Klein, my life. But this, for the money, nah. I'm afraid tool of the day is not gonna be this. Maybe Jordan's gonna disagree. I still think tool of the day is that stainless steel sit tie gun because that is actually a pretty naughty tool and that actually is gonna speed you up significantly unlike this gimmick. I probably wouldn't be as negative about it if it wasn't so late and I wasn't so tired and I hadn't had a Tesco meal deal for dinner. One, three, happy days. Let's try this one. World hunger and people are charging 50 quid for a screwdriver that you have to make a cup of tea before it'll work. Give it a gentle break in. Nah, not impressed. I like the concept, I like the idea that leaves a lot to be desired. So if you want honest tool reviews, Weira, Klein, all the rest of it, then come to me and I'll give you honesty. That's a gimmick. That is wearing a shell suit on bonfire night. That That is 0.14. So I want to see the readings slowly get lower as we get closer to the, uh, to the distribution board. 0.12 from 0.13. Sounds about right to me. I've got to say, I'm actually pretty impressed. Jordan put this AstroTurf back down. I think he could have a call in in groundwork. I just said to him, I was like, we're never going to get that back down. That's going to look shocking. Like they're having groundwork, it's done. We didn't have to put it back. Um, but obviously, you've got to make an effort. So it's just like if you're not a carpet layer, you're still you're still gonna put the carpet back down, aren't you? Um, but actually, he's done a pretty darn good job. I'm tempted to put a piece of tile tape down on there and screw it either side. And uh, lay that one down there, pin a couple of screws for it, and no one's gonna smash their ankle on it. All right, so we're um, final connections livened up. I'm just doing the connection for this SPD. So that is just gonna bob in there, just trying to do a short little length. And then we are done i've livened the zappies up and i'm just updating the firmware on those now and once the firmware is update then we can just set up the customer's account on their app and then we'll be good to go a bit of a tidy up and just get the board cover on label everything up it's all tested already so that's all good so pretty much done finally it's um half past nine so by the time we tidy it up it's going to be gone 10 o'clock i think So it's 10.25 p.m. We are done, nearly. nearly. <laughs> you think you're done and there's always one tiny little thing to finish off, but no, we're nearly there. The zappies are on, they're livened up, they're tested, working. Uh, and I'm really happy with the result. I mean, it looks beautiful on these pedestals. So I think it's a great little system that they've got going here. We've put these bump stops in as well, just to stop anyone being able to reverse into them, because that would just do a lot of expensive damage. So my Tesla is there, plugged in behind me, charging up because uh, I've got a little bit of a journey home tonight. So I've got enough range to get home anyway, but I just wanted to test it out really with the Tesla. So yeah, we're all good. We've got a great team. They're hard workers. We've done a long day, but it's been awesome and we are done. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to do that. Hit a thumbs up as well if you've enjoyed us working late tonight. Thanks for watching and have a great day.